inshallah today class we are going to start the we are going to solve the questions based on simultaneous equations means when two equations are given how to solve this now we are having two equations here watch carefully here we are having differentiation with respect to t so let we keep d by dt equals to capital D. so this will become dx plus 4x plus 3y equals to t and the second equation will become dy plus 2x plus 5y equals to e power t. Now you take x common from this two it will become d plus 4 into x plus 3y equals to t. In the same way you write here 2x plus you take y common if you take y common d plus 5 into y equals to e power t. Now if you watch these two questions, see here, first we have to solve these two questions. First we have to solve these two questions and bring the value, eliminate either x or y, eliminate either x or y. Then you will get an equation in terms of either x or y. Then we can solve first, suppose we say, first we solve for y, then we substitute in this to get x. Or first we solve for x and then substitute to get y. Let me do one thing. This is 1. Suppose this is 2. I am eliminating y. To eliminate y, you have to multiply 3 with the equation 2 and d plus 5 with the equation 1. If you multiply these numbers, we will get same. You can cancel this two. So multiply equation 1 with d plus, four, d plus 5. Equation 1 with d plus 5. You multiply equation 1 with d plus 5 and equation 2 with 3. This number multiplied by 1 and this number multiplied by 2. Multiply 3 with this and d plus 5 with this. So we have to multiply this whole equation with the d plus 5. So let me multiply d plus 5 into d plus 4. d plus 5 into, we are multiplying with d plus 5 into d plus 4 into x plus 3 into d plus 5 into y equals to d plus d plus 5 into 1 d plus 5 sorry into t in the same way you multiply this with 3 3 2 is a 6 x plus 3 into d plus 5 into y equals to 3 into e power t what we did to solve this now this two coefficients became same so if you subtract this will get cancelled subtract this so this will become minus this will become minus this will become minus this will get cancelled so what is left here it is left with a d plus 5 into d plus 4 into x minus 6x this get cancelled now what is left here d plus 5 into t minus 3 e power t now next step you might you take x common from this multiply d into d d square plus d into 4 4 d plus 5 d is 9 d plus 5 4s are 20 20 minus 6 is 14 into x equals to now see here d means d by dt of t d by dx of x is 1 so d by dt of t will be 1 plus 5 into t 5t minus 3 into e power t 3 into e power t now next step is here now let you solve start solving first for auxiliary equation auxiliary equation is in place of d must write m so m square plus 9 m plus 14 equals to 0 you take the values from calci, you will get two values m equals to minus 2 minus 7, 7 2s are 14. So therefore, complementary function is yc equals to c1. Now we must write x because we are having in terms of x. So x is c equals to c1 e power m1x, m1x plus c2 e power m2x. So we get this as x c equals to c1 e power m1 m1 is minus 2x plus c2 e power m2 is minus 7 so in place of x uh, so into so in place of x we must write t in terms of t we are having minus 70 so now we got the value of xc now to get particular integral we must bring d on the other side we must bring d on the other side so let me note this as equation 1 now let me bring d on the other side and let me separate this okay I start from the starting of the board. Now see here. Now for d complementary uh, uh, particular integrals, we brought d here. 
now multiply this with 1 multiply this with 5t and multiply with this separate this all three so one can be done already we have done like this to solve particular integrations if we get some constant suppose here you see i'm explaining here suppose we are having phi now for particular integral we must suppose phi into e power 0 x then we have to find method by using the method e power a x that is a equals to 0 so whenever we get constant we have to suppose e power 0 t so one can be written as e power 0 t now plus phi into you write this now for t x you see here for x x square x cube huh? we are using which method we are using comp binomial theorem for binomial theorem we must use this formula 1 plus d whole power minus 1 this is 1 minus d plus d square this is the formula so for that we have to change this into 1 for that we have to change this 14 into 1 so we take 14 common from here if you take 14 common from here we left with 1 here and this will become d square plus 9d by 14 and again you multiply this with 3 into this one now see here here the method is e power 80 e power 80 so we have to substitute in place of d a a is 0 so this 0 plus 14 will become 14 e power 0 t 5 by 14 you bring this in the numerator this will become power 1 so if you brought in the numerator it will become minus 1 here e power ax method is e equals a equals to t a so d equals to a is 1 here so substitute 1 here so d 1 plus 9 is 10 10 plus 12 is 24 it will become okay now see here this we have to expand now we have to expand because we are having only t power 1 so we must expand only 1 minus d we should not take d square because the d square will become 0 second differential of t will become 0 so you just take 1 minus d this much only 1 minus d so 1 minus d you multiply and separate this one again the, no need to solve this because this is second differential it will become 0 you multiply 1 into t t 1 into t, t. second differential becomes 0 leave this one now d by dt of t will be 1 1 9 is a 9 9 by 14 1 into t t this will become 0 d by dt of t is 1 1 9 to 9 by 14 9 by 14 so now we got this one now you multiply this 1 by 14 plus 5 t by 5 t by 14 minus 45 by 14 14 is a 196 minus 1 by 8 e power t now you add this to 1 by 14 minus 45 by 196 you take from the calcium you will get minus 31 by 196 so you get x now so the complete solution is x equals to x c plus x p x c plus x p now we got x you see here now we have to continue we have to differentiate now i will just explain now see on the board now we got the value of x you see here now we got x let us substitute here we got x now you differentiate you will get dx by dt if we substitute x and dx by dt in this you will get the value of y you see here, again so I will say. suppose you keep x value here in this if you differentiate you will get dx by dt again if you substitute these two values you will get the value of y for that we have to also find dx by dt because we have to substitute dx by dt so you differentiate this one if you differentiate this one x will become dx by dt equals to c1 as it d by dx of e power x e power x e power minus 2 t but this minus 2 will come here in the same way minus 7 will come here plus into minus minus 7 c2 e power minus 7 t now d by dt of t will become 1 1 into 5 will be 5 by 14 minus 1 by 8 d by dx of e power x e power x and this constant is 0 now let me substitute this 2 in 1 substituting in 1 suppose this is 1 this is 2 now first let me do one thing we have to find why now you bring this 2 on the other side you can write like this 3y equals to t minus dx by dt minus 3 sorry 4x once more you see here 3y equals to t minus dx by dt minus 4x now let me substitute the values see here dy by sorry 3y equals to t minus dx by dt means we have to multiply this with minus so this minus into minus will become plus 2 c1 e power minus 2 t plus 7 c2 e power minus 7 t minus 5 by 14 minus minus plus 1 by 8 e power t now this is t minus dx by dt finish then what is left minus 4 into x we have to multiply this with 4 we have to multiply this with minus 4 so minus 4 into c1 minus 4 c1 
e power minus 2t minus 4 into c2 minus 4 c2 e power minus 7t if you multiply with minus sub minus 4 this will become plus into minus minus if you multiply with 4 2 2 are 2 7 are 2 5 are 10 10 by 70 if you multiply 5 4 into 5 by 14 4 2 2 are 2 7 are 10 by 7 Again, if you multiply 4, 4, 1s are 4, 2s are minus into minus plus 1 by 2 e power t plus 1 by 2 e power t. This also, if you multiply with minus, minus will minus will become plus 31 by, you cancel this with 4, 4, 4s are 16, 4, 9s are 36. 4, 4s are 16, 4, 9s are 36. Once more, you guys, we have multiplied this with minus 4, minus 4s, minus 4, c1, minus 4, c2, minus into plus minus 10 by 7. Minus minus plus 1 by 2 equal to t minus minus plus. Now let me add the terms, you will get y. 3y equals to, you do th one thing. How many 2c1 here and one more c1 is here. 2 minus 4 will be minus 2. Minus 2c1 e power minus 2t. In the same way, now 7 c1 c2 minus 4. 7 minus 4 will be 3 plus 3c2 e power minus 70. Now next one is, what is here you watch here, 7, t here and t here, watch here, t minus 7, 10 by 70. If you take LCM 7 into t 70, 7 minus 7, 7 minus 10 minus 3 t by 7, 7 t minus 10 t is minus 3 t by 7, t and we solve this minus 70 by 10, okay. Now this term is finished, this one is finished, this one, no, this is left, no. Now see here, next step, let me solve for t. We are having two terms, t of here and here. See here, 1 by 8 e power t plus 1 by 2 e power t. If you take LCM, it will be 8 e power t plus 2 fours of 4 e power t. So this will become 5 e power t. And lastly, numbers. Numbers are, what are the numbers? Minus 5 by 14 plus 31 by 49. Let me take the LCM, you will get the values here. Okay. So, I am taking out this one. Now, see here, I just taken the LCM from the calcium, we get this value. Okay. Now, the next step, last step is bring this 3 on the other side, it will be 1 by 3. So, we get the value of y as this and already we get the value of x already, I, we have done this one. So we got the values of x and y because the questions are so lengthy. I am doing the next question shortly to reduce the time of the video. Okay, so if the video is so lengthy, it will be boring for you. So I will reduce the time to solve the next question. Okay. Now see here uh, next question. Let me suppose d by dt equals to capital D. So this will become d square x plus 4x plus 5y equals to t square. Next question. d square y plus 5x plus 4y equals to t plus 1. Now next step you see here. You take x from this two common, you will get this equation. If you take y from this two common, you will get this equation. Now we have to solve. I am eliminating y from this. So multiply d square plus 4 with 1 and 5 with 2. You have to multiply this coefficient to this equation and this coefficient to this equation. So multiply d square plus 4 with 1 minus 2 with 5. So what will happen if you multiply d square plus 4 into d square plus 4 whole square plus 5 into d square plus 4 plus d square plus d square. We are multiplying with d square plus 4. Sorry. So this is d square plus 4 into d square. So see here, you have to multiply this with 5, 5 was a 25, 5 into d square plus 4, 5 t plus 5. If you subtract this, what will happen see here? This will get cancelled. I am showing this in short in practice by yourself. Now you expand this a plus b whole square is a square plus 2a plus b square minus 25 into x. Now d square is second differentiation of t square. First differentiation is 2t. Again, if you differentiate 2t, you will get 2. You will get 2. So second different, we are, okay, next step I wrote this one. You see here, this is next step. Now you have taken, uh, you have written the right hand side minus minus. Now next step you see here, 
16 minus 9 of 25 is minus 9. Second differentiation of t square is minus 2. 2 minus 5 is minus 3. So 4 into t square, 4 t square minus 5 t minus 3. Now for auxiliary equation, let me take for complementary function. In place of d, we have to take m power 4 plus 8 m square minus 9. If you factorize this, 9 was the 9. Okay, if you factorize this, this will become m power 4 plus 9 m square minus m square minus 9 equals to 0. If you take common m square here, m square plus 9 minus 1 m square plus 9. So m square minus 1 into m square plus 9 equals to 0. We got these two values, we will get these two values. For imaginary, we are having having formula e power alpha x. Alpha is 0 here. Alpha is 0 here. So e power 0 will be 1 c1 cos beta t. Beta is 3 here. Plus c2 sin beta t. This is m equals to 1 minus 1 distinct values means we are having e power x formula e power t e power minus t 1 by m is 1 m is minus 1. So now we got the value of complementary function of xc. Similarly we want to find xp for that we have to bring the d on the other side. We have to bring this d on the other side. Let me start doing this. Now see here for particular integral I brought d on the other side. Now watch here this is x square x like this so we have to expand using for algebraic 1 minus d whole power 1 t its formula is 1 plus d plus d square plus so on so for that first we have to bring this into 1 we have to check so you might take minus co 9 common here if you take minus 9 common here i'm writing 1 by 9 this will become plus and this will become minus by 9 if you take minus 9 common this will become plus this will become minus so bring this in the numerator to the minus 1. So formula is 1 minus d. You just expand till here only because if you expand more, it will become 0. So formula is 1 plus d, 1 plus d. So 1 plus, you separate this 8 d squared by 9 minus d power 4 minus, sorry, 1 plus d, you know, this is plus d. So you see here, what to do, watch carefully. Again, d power 4 becomes 0 because the coefficient is t squared. The power greater than d will become 0. This will become 0 fourth derivative will become zero so leave this one so one into this multiply plus eight by d into t square of this one into this plus eight by d into d square of this d square means second differential of this first differential will be four t square will be two t two fours are eight t t is one one five is a five again if you differentiate this will become eight so this value will become eight so i am writing eight here no last step you see it so we got xp we got xp Next one is complete solution is x equals to xc plus xp. So x equals to xc we already got plus xp we got now here. Now we got x. Now watch carefully. He is here. Here we are having, you now we got x. If you, we got x here. Watch here you use this one. You got x. Now second differential will become d squared by d. Means we have to differentiate two times and bring this. Now if we substitute this and x you will get the value of y. We have to second differentiate x, you will get this one and this and x if you substitute this, you will get the value of y. Therefore, we have to differentiate this two times. Now, let me differentiate this one. Now, x d by, if you differentiate d by dx of cos is minus sin and 3d differential will be 3. d by dx of sin is cos, 3d differential is t. d by dx of e power x, e power x. d by dx of e power x is e power x, but this is minus, no? So, you write minus, minus 1 by t. Differentiation of t square is 2t, 2 fours are 8t, d by dx of t is 1, 1 5 is a 5, constant is 0. Again, once more differentiation, if you differentiate once more, it will be d by dx of sin is cos. Again, 3 means 3, 3 is a 9, d by dx of cos is minus sin. Again, 3 means 3 is a 9, d by dx of e power x, e power x. d by dx of e power minus x is minus, minus 1 is plus. So, d by dt of t is 1, 1 into minus 9 by 1 plus. So we got x sine d square x. Now we have to substitute this in equation 1. We have to substitute this in equation 1. Now see here, we have to find y. So bring in the equation 1. We already got x d square x by dt square. Bring this to on the other side. This will become minus. Now you substitute the values 5y equals to t square minus. If you got this value, you substitute this here. Minus 4 into you substitute x here. So after solving, you get the answer y equals to already we got this y equals to you take phi also common so last last the final answer you try by yourself this answers you got will get the x value this one and the y value this one okay i wrote this in shortly because length the video will become too lengthy inshallah in the next class that will be the last part inshallah 
of this higher order differential equation. Inshallah, we will continue in the next part. These questions are a little bit difficult. So I request to go slow, steadily. Okay, we first see what is the concept we are doing. Okay, first step we are solving the equations. We are taking out, eliminating either x or y you eliminate. Then whatever the equation is left, you solve that completely. You will get the value of x. Again, in to substitute in the second equation, another equation, we must require either dx by dt or d square y by d, dx square by dt square. So you the, see the situation, you differentiate. Then you substitute x and dx by dt or d square by t, t by dt, dt square dx square by dt square. In the other equation, you will get the value of y. So these are the little bit longer questions you practice by yourself, inshallah. We are going to continue in the next class.